Whether you're looking for a different kind of Thanksgiving side dish or just something to feature the flavors of fall, this cauliflower pumpkin casserole is so delicious. It is really easy to make, just like all the recipes that we make here because I don't like big, fuzzy, complicated recipes. Let's get to the stove and make this together. To prepare this dish, what I'll do is I'll cut the cauliflower in smaller pieces and I also cut the pumpkin in half and scoop out the seeds and then I like to steam them in my steamer basket on the stove. I have that going already and all I need to do is just put it in there and steam both the vegetables until they're done. They kind of take about the same time and after maybe 15-20 minutes I poke a knife in there. You don't want the cauliflower to be so soft that it falls apart, but you do want the pumpkin to be completely soft. And then you can either with hands very carefully or with um, some tool, you can take the steamer basket out and either continue with the dish right away or set these aside because you're prepping this ahead of time and then at a later time you can finish the dish. So now we're gonna make the white sauce and adding some butter to a saucepan. Let that melt. To that I add some flour. I want to cook that just a little bit. I'm adding milk. You can see how it's already thickening. I like to add my milk a little gradually. And stirring it while this is cooking really helps the little lumps to dissolve. Turning up the heat a little bit to let that cook a little bit longer. To that, because it really helps the flavors, I add a good bit of sour cream. At this point, I don't actually really want this to cook a whole lot. And I season with salt and pepper. a little bit of mustard. Now I'd like this to be a little bit more runny than what I have, so I'm just gonna top it off with some milk. It's always good to scrape around the bottom of the saucepan because oftentimes there's a little bit of flour hiding underneath all that white sauce and you want to get all the flour worked into the sauce. And for assembling the dish I'm adding just a little bit of butter to a hot cast iron pan or you can also use another baking dish. To that I add the cooked steamed cauliflower and I like to break it up a little bit in flatter pieces here. to saute these just a little bit and to heat them up. And then I'm adding my steamed pumpkin. You can be as fancy as you like and cut them in dice or just scoop them out of the shell and scoop them right into the skillet here. So at this point, if you have any leftover pumpkin and you are not quite sure what to do with it, you can always make a homemade face mask for glowing skin and the video is right here.
For the final step, I'm adding the white sauce. And a lot of grated cheddar cheese. And now I put that in a hot oven at 375 degrees until the cheese is nice and brown and buttery on top. And here's the final dish. It smells so good and it looks so good and I can hear it still bubbling. So we are ready to dig in. And if you're looking for more easy recipes, I have an entire playlist right here, including some make ahead Thanksgiving side dishes that you can find in there. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen and I'll see you in the next video.